want us to talk about uh, why it is important to scan the people that you bring into your cycle. Um, one of the reasons why I like to talk about this is the fact that it is important to understand that people that you bring in your cycle, they take some energy from you the very same way you share your energy with them. So bringing someone into your life is not a small thing. It's a very big deal. This video might not apply to everybody, but people who will feel like they relate to this video, they will understand why I'm saying the things that I'm saying. So if you are a star seed, if you are a light worker, if you are an introvert, if you are a black sheep, if you are a, an empath, you might find that you relate to this video more than other people and that is because these people that i've mentioned they tend to have unique gifts that sometimes people of this society we live in do not understand and when they don't understand why you are the way you are or why you isolate yourself or why you move differently you do things differently they start having their own assumptions and some they will say maybe you think you are better you have pride some will say oh you're shy when it's in actual fact it's not it's none of those things it's just that your gift that you were given or the purpose that you came to fulfill in this physical plane is more than what people are able to perceive with their, with their eyes. But you, you know what you need to do. And so you will be different and people will sometimes dislike you for that reason. Some people will then also feel threatened around you. Sometimes they will feel like you are carrying all the answers, they'll want to come to you and they feel as if every problem that they have, you're going to solve it for them. Because when they see you, they can see that gift, even though they might not be able to articulate what exactly it is, but you will tend to draw particular people. Um, I don't like to use the, the term broken people, but it's true. There are people who have broken souls or uh, is broken spiritually or emotionally. And so when they see you, they see this light that is is having a, 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 a potential that has a potential to 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 lighten up whatever darkness that they are going through at that time. So people who are who are like these people that I've mentioned, the light workers, the star seeds, the empaths, and the the introverts, they tend to have high vibration because they spend a lot of time by themselves, you know, they study who they are, they study other people. And this is why I want to talk about this video. So how do you scan people in your life so that you know who you bring closer is good or bad for you, especially if you're among these people that I've mentioned? And you would find that most of these people that I've mentioned, they already do this, and but there are those maybe who don't, so this is the reason why I want to share. And I do this myself. I test people. I know it sounds horrible, but it's the truth. I honestly test people. What I normally do is I would come in environment, especially if I'm interacting uh, with people for the first time, you know, people I'm not used to. So I would study the atmosphere, I would study the energy, I would study them individually. Remember that before we were able to talk verbally, we were telepathic as people. We could communicate literally. Our Celestial ancestors were able to literally communicate without saying any word. They were able to communicate like Bluetooth. So we still have those abilities. It's just that some of us are no longer able to tap into that power within ourselves because we have neglected all these things while we are chasing over the things of the matrix of this world. So what I would normally do is I sit and scan and the environment. And there's this thing that we tend to do as the light workers without even controlling it, we blend in. And when I say light workers, I'm not putting everybody in one belt. People are different, you know. We blend in, we camouflage where we are. If people are acting a certain way, we'll act that way. Not because that's who we are, it's because we wanna push, uh, we wanna push this being them with them to see how far will it take us and what benefits will it give us and what are the disadvantages of it. You know, we, we blend in and if we don't blend in or camouflage, you'd even do something even worse. You just simply disappear in a room. These are the people who have abilities to be as if they're not even in the room. People would literally forget that they are in a room because they are scanning energies inside a room. 
you know and the reason why i feel like we do this is not only just that we we, we just want to like be spiteful and want to use all the information to spite other people or whatever it's because we know that we don't fit in we are not the ordinary person we are not understood anyway so we don't want to raise eyebrows on the first day or first time of meeting so we'll scan the situation and act according to how everybody is acting so the reason we do that is because we are trying to protect this gift that we are given this gift that we are given sometimes has this like i said it 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 can draw the attention that you don't want people who broken people if i can say that or people who have problems when they see you they'll start talking about their secrets to you for the first time seeing you and when they see you they'll start you know sharing their problems with you hoping that maybe listening to you or you listening to them will actually help them maybe you'll give them an advice or some assistance even randomly when you are working people will literally leave every other person maybe in the town or in any busy places they will leave all those people and simply come and ask help from you out of all these people so these are all the signs that show that you are not this person that is just an ordinary person there is something about you there is a light that shines within you that if sometimes you, you show it and you let it free or show it freely uh, some people want to temper with it some people are so envious that they want one of it or the one part of it you know so they feel entitled to it they think that you that you are the reason why they don't have it so when they see it to you they feel threatened angry envious because you have what they are looking for and they don't have it so it is much likely that you will be in conflict you know you'll be mis you'll be mistreated you will be you will make people uncomfortable so because of these reasons or because of these reasons i've mentioned these people will scan the area camouflage disappear in the crowd when they are there to protect themselves and then they study now what normally happens is that when people feel comfortable around you when they feel like you are nothing you are not a threat they tend to get so comfortable and then they start showing their true colors so now that's when these people who are observers get to decide if what they are seeing is what they are willing to you know interact with or have that person have a relationship with that person uh, or they will just choose to disappear if you are showing things that they don't approve of so that's what they do they scan and then they decide so i do feel like we need to do this as other people we need to understand that people are not always for us there are people who want to take from us but are not willing to give there are people who just want to you know ruin your reputation there are people who want to act as if there's something when they're not just so they can you know find something on you that they will use as a leverage to use on you one day uh, should you succeed more than they are liking so it could be anything you know not that you are going around looking for problems in people but it is something that these people they do effortlessly without even thinking about it because they they, they they've they've seen how every time they open up and show who they are what how it always unfolds it's either there's going to be over over they're going to be overcrowded by other people's problems that they can fix always like all of them or they want to have these people who want to tamper with their gift and they are threatened for who they are and what they have and therefore they want to try and make their life miserable so basically that's the reason why so that is the video i hope that you guys are going to take something if you have any experience of being these people that i've mentioned and you know what i'm talking about please do share us share with us that on the comment section so that we can know and have this conversation and i feel like these are the conversations we need to have so that we know how to pursue to, to protect our gifts as people so please do share down below in the comment section if you have any experience of what i've spoken about in this video if you not, have not subscribed also please do press subscribe button let's have these conversations it's very important that we awaken each other so that we know that we are not different and we're not crazy and there's nothing wrong with us there is actually people a tribe of people like this so we need to know how to secure ourselves if i can say it that way so thank you so much for watching and um i'll see you next time guys cheers adios bye